Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a very simple dish. This is my husband's favorite fish. I'm just going to make a simple deep fried fish. This fish is naturally sweet. It's called ikan karisi. I think in Tamil they call this shankarami. Yeah. In English, I'm not sure. Ikan karisi ni memang favorite suami saya ya. Okay, saya dah kunyit dan garamkan ni dan masuk sedikit tepung beras ya. Garam pun saya tak masuk banyak sangat sebab saya nak buat sambal cuka untuk cicah untuk ikan ni. Sebab tu saya tak mau banyak-banyak garam. Dalam tu pun ada sos ikan. Okay. I'm marinating it with turmeric powder, a little bit of rice flour and a little bit of salt. You can put more salt if you wish. If you are not going to have that sambal to go with it. Because that sambal which is famous in the northern state is made with vinegar and fish sauce which is already salty. But it will go well with this fish. Now let it sit for a while and we will start frying. Kita perap seketika, lepas tu kita goreng. Satu petua bila kita goreng ikan, kita panaskan kuali dulu. Panaskan kuali, lepas tu masukkan minyak dan tunggu sampai minyak panas baru goreng. One of the tips to fry fish well is to heat up the kuali first, then you add in your oil. And after that, I'm increasing the flame because the kuali was already heated up earlier. So now I'm heating up the oil and we'll start frying. You don't have to use a lot. You can just flip it every now and then the fish decide and that's fried and cook it. Nanti lebih suka pakai kuali macam ni ataupun kuali besi aluminium untuk goreng ikan garing-garing. I like using stainless steel or aluminium forks for frying anything real crispy. If I don't need it that crispy then I'll use my non-stick. And increase the flame. Ada penghujungnya betul-betul naikkan api ya. Baru sedap. chili sauce that goes with almost anything. You can even just have it with rice. The people in the northern states would just have it with rice. There's many ways to make it but I'm just telling you how I would make it. It's almost like the Chinese chili sauce. Almost. I've put in here some red chili padi about two. You can actually make this more with, like put it in a jar and keep in your fridge because this lasts very long because of the vinegar and they normally eat it with their rice dishes. This is, I'm making a smaller quantity but I will always keep aside some in the fridge for a later day when I want something a bit hot in my plain kind of food I would take it out and just put it on the side in the northern states they would call this sambal chuka vinegar sambal and they would make lots of it and keep it so basically this is what you can do you don't have to use garlic but I kind of like the taste of garlic and some green chili api just now I used two red one here I have about six green ones you make it according to how you will like it they also eat this with laksa a bit of that red sauce on the side this is it what you add in you adjust according to how you like it okay I'll just show you 
a bit first of what I will do and I myself will adjust it because it always depends on how ripe your chili is, how much of chili you put. Like I said, this tomato, how ripe it is. Some people don't even use tomatoes. Okay, after you put all this in, get ready a teaspoon. Okay, tadi aunty dah masukkan semua bahan-bahan. Aunty buat sikit saja ya. Orang dekat utara, dekat Kelantan, Rengganu semua, dia orang buat banyak-banyak simpan dalam peti sejuk. Dia memang tahan lama dalam peti sejuk. Saya pupuk satu tomato. Ini bukan kena taruh lah. Kalau nak taruh boleh lah. Aunty taruh sebab tak mau pedas sangat. Dan ada cili merah dalam tiga saya ingat. Dan cili api merah hijau. Lepas tu bawang putih saya taruh dua setengah orang tak bubuh langsung. Ha? Dan sekarang semua dah masuk. Saya masukkan garam. Ini satu sudu yang kecil sekali. Jang, garam jangan banyak ya. Eh? Sebab kita lebih pada sos ikan nanti. Add in a bit of salt but not too much because we want to use the fish sauce which is also salty and then this requires sugar always go easy put one first we are making this amount just one first and then salt sugar and squeeze in all the rimau kasturi i've used three and retain the skin the skin is important because what you do is you shred it and add in at the end and just give it one whisk or if you don't want to whisk it because it might be a bit bitter you can just shred it and put into the sambal the vinegar is the thing that you have to use quite a bit limau kasturi ni kita pakai sikit tapi cuka lebih kan eh? dia memang dipanggil sambal cuka kita boleh tambah apa-apa lah nanti mungkin kamu ada idea lain-lain nanti nak pakai apa ok sini nanti pakai sos pelam. Kalau tak ada pelam, pakai apricot. Okey, ini akan macam mengentalkan sikit memasamkan juga, nanti pakai dua lah. Dan sos ikan ikan pakai satu sudu kecil, dua sudu kecil lepas tu kita adjust dan ini, cuka kita pakai sudu kecil macam empat lah. Nanti kita adjust lagi. Satu, dua tiga empat. I'm using 4 teaspoons of the vinegar that is what you need most I've used 2 of the fish sauce and 1 of the sugar and the plum sauce I've used I think 2 you can, if you don't have plum sauce you can use apricot this is just to give it a very gooey gooey texture because this is a raw sambal there's nothing there that is cooked ini memang macam sambal mentah tak ada apa-apa yang dimasak so jaga-jaga lah macam mana rasa sambal tu okay. flatten it and shred it you don't have to put all just put a bit tak perlu pakai semua ya. pakai banyak mana yang kamu perlu nak cincang-cincang sikit pun boleh if you want to mince it a little bit oh, that would be nice too in that same way. Ada orang suka bubuh asam jawa extra tapi dia akan menggelapkan sambal tu rasa untuk anti tak perlulah If you like it hotter than this, just add in whatever you want. More of the red and green bird's eye chili. Okay. The rest, put it in a bottle. You can just have it with your rice. You don't have to eat this with fried fish. Anything. You can just put a dollop of this on your rice and eat. It's very flavorful, very nice, very appetizing. That's for sure. Okay. Simpan baki-baki ni dalam botol Dalam peti sejuk ya Boleh makan tak semestinya dengan ikan ya Apa-apa lauk pun kita boleh ambil Satu cedok macam gini Satu teaspoon Dekat sebelah nasi dengan laksa pun sedap Laksa santan lah Memang sedap This is fried ikan kerisi With vinegar sambal Inilah ikan kerisi goreng Dengan sambal cuka Cubalah memang sedap Memang senang ha, Yang baki-baki yang dalam blender tu Saya simpan dalam peti sejuk Untuk apa-apa lain kali Okay Jumpa lagi Jangan lupa like Subscribe dan Share Resipi Nanti Okay Bye bye